Sinaka, do you know that cybercrime is becoming a growing problem in Fiji? Cybercrime is defined as a crime in which a computer is the object of the crime, such as hacking and spam. Cybercrime is also cyberbullying and using fake profiles to cause panic and spread false news. If you're involved in this or know anyone who's committing these crimes, report them immediately. I'm Oli. And I'm Peter. We host the Traffic Jam Show on City FM. From 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. every weekday. Do, do the, the right thing. Yana Vinaka, Fiji. In this bulletin, more revelations on infighting amongst Adelpa members. Workplace survey to help design strategies. And cover prices drop. From the studios of FBC Suva, Jackie Spade. More information has come to light about concerns over infighting that has caused a split in the Social Democratic Liberal Party. The late former party leader and Prime Minister Laisini Ngarrasi, who was instrumental in forming Sidelpa, shared his concerns over the future of the party. Edwin Nunn reports Ngarrasi confided in his former employee from the banking days, Parmesh Sharma. Parmesh Sharma has shared some private conversations he had with the late Laisini Ngarrasi where the former Prime Minister expressed disappointment with the infighting in Sodelpa and was distancing himself from the party. I'm, I'm sure he would have been very concerned about uh, the split and the appearing divisions uh, while he was observing. Sharma goes on to claim that as early as four months ago, Garase shared a thought with him about the possibility of forming another party that shared his vision and solidified the thinking of the people. However, the current party leader doesn't believe that's true. I'll respect the good I saw in him when he was alive, rather than uh, uh, believe that he had uh, uh, a sword out for me while he was still alive. Sharma in his Facebook post says Ngarase thought he may need to form a breakaway party as his final attempt for the service to the people of Fiji because he was always conscious of the fact that he was leading SDL during the events of 2006 and he believed he owed it to everyone to restore what he thought was the best vision for Fiji. Ngarase is also quoted as saying that he only wanted to lead the new party or a changed Sodelpa but not contest the general election because he believed a young, dynamic team would make a good government. Edwin Nand, FBC News. Prime Minister of Wurenge Mbaini Marama has assured that the safety of Fijians will remain the biggest priority. Mbaini Marama assured the villagers of Makandru in Matukulau that they will do everything they can to help them recover from the damage done to their village by Tropical Cyclone Harold. He says all necessary rehabilitations are being provided on the island. The Prime Minister visited the Lao group to see firsthand the damage caused by Cyclone Harold. He also visited the Moala Jetty to see the extent of damage caused by the cyclone. The Fiji Roads Authority officials updated the Prime Minister on both the damaged jetty and other infrastructure developments on the island as work to repair the jetty continues. Getting an idea on the actual effects of COVID-19 in workplaces will help employers make informed decisions if a similar crisis arises again. The data collected from a nationwide workplace survey that will begin from Wednesday will help design strategies and put in place protection mechanisms to help employers and other sectors. Employment Minister Parvin Kumar says the survey will provide a solid foundation for designing innovative solutions as we work our way out of this pandemic. It will also provide a solid foundation to continue with innovative solutions as we walk our way out of this pandemic. However, we are still caught in the global economic lockdown that is affecting our main economic enna in the tourism industry. The global understanding is that much needs to be done to ensure that the economic costs of the pandemic do not outpace the health impact of COVID-19. 140 enumerators were trained last week to undertake the nationwide workplace survey that is to begin from Wednesday until the 19th of June. Illegal excavation at Malambala Crescent in Newtown, Asino is causing soil erosion in the area, which is putting the lives of many residents at risk. 
The discovery was made by the local government ministry following a recent landslide whereby around five meters of land was reclaimed illegally. All excavation for reclaiming land needs prior approval from the town and country planning, but this was not the case in Newtown. Things become more complicated and complex when you have a change in hands. Uh, and, and then how do you hold people to account? And, and, and particularly so if they have moved on and they have left the country. The people of Kandavu will receive money for all the pine trees damaged by Tropical Cyclone Harold. Government through the Ministry of Forestry and in collaboration with the Fiji Pine Trust will set a stumpage rate where pine resource owners will be paid. Speaking to villagers in Nangalotu in Yawe Kandavu, Forestry Minister Osena Ngamu says they understand as pine resource owners, the villagers had financial aspirations but lost all hope due to TC Harold. Mangamu says their strategy is to salvage as much damaged pine trees as possible and convert it into pine timber posts and poles using portable sawmills. Mangamu is urging the villagers to continue with the tree planting initiative. I encourage you all to work with government and participate in the 13 million trees in 15 years program and plant trees for the future of Kandamu and for the future of this nation. The price of one kilogram of kava has dropped by almost 100 percent due to decrease in demand from international markets and local consumption as well. A kg that would have cost as much as $150 late last year is now being sold from $70 to as low as $50. Vendors have no choice but to reduce prices in an effort to clear the stock. In his 20 years of business, Sakiu Sasorovi says he has never faced such a downturn. There's no issue with supply. It's just that customers have dropped, so we are unable to keep up with the prices we used to offer. That is why the cost of supply has come down for some, while others here in the market are still facing challenges. A national migratory bird count campaign will be launched in October with aims of stepping up public awareness on the importance of wetlands and its conservation. The Ministry of Environment, in collaboration with BirdLife International and Nature Fiji Marangeti Viti, is working on identifying two or more wetland sites under the United Nations Convention on Wetlands or the Ramsar Convention. Minister for Environment Dr. Mahindra Reddy says non-governmental organizations, development partners and policy makers must work closely to implement resolutions and strategies protecting wildlife. Expose like you to do this kind of work on the ground. To give us policy makers data so that we can make policy based on data. If you don't give data, then ministries will continue to be rolled on from year on, year out. And policy making will just become a exercise a task. A repatriation flight is available for Fijians in Auckland, New Zealand, who want to return home. The flight will operate from tomorrow, departing Auckland at 4.40 p.m. and arriving in Tanandi at 7.45 p.m. Only Fiji citizens are able to enter Fiji at this time. And as with all recent evacuation flight arrivals, all guests will be required to go into self-isolation at a Fijian government-mandated facility for up to 28 days. They will not be able to go to their homes or residences. Tales coach and Kathy Wong named influential women in rugby. Kathy Wong has been named as one of the top 20 most influential women in rugby for The Times, a British daily national newspaper based in London.
Known for her trailblazing career, both in and out of the sports world, Wong, a physiotherapist by profession, has given a fair share to the sporting fraternity. She is one of the first women from the Pacific to be a World Rugby Council member. Her portfolio includes being a board member for the Fijian National Sports Commission and a member of the Fiji Association of Sports and National Olympic Committee. She was the chef de mission for Team Fiji at the 2016 Rio Olympics, 2015 Pacific Games in Papua New Guinea and 2013 Pacific Mini Games in Wallace and Fortuna. Taking a look at the weather today, generally fine weather is expected across the country with some cloud covers later in the afternoon. So do make sure to keep yourself warm as the nights are getting cold. And that is UFBC Morning News. Join us at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. Remember, in times of crisis, you need factual news that you can trust. Stop believing fake news about the COVID-19 on social media. Fight misinformation by getting only the facts about the coronavirus from verified news sources like FBC's TV, radio and digital media news. www.fbcnews.com.fj Keeping Fijians connected with the truth. खूबसूरत देश फीजी में चाइल्ड अब्यूज की घटनाएं आए दिन बढ़ रही हैं। क्यों बच्चों का मासूम बचपन अब्यूज का शिकार हो जाता है अपने बच्चों की सुरक्षा का खास ख्याल रखें। उनसे बातचीत करें उनके दोस्तों के बारे में जानें। आज के बच्चे देश का भविष्य है मैं दीप्ति और मैं मोनिश आपके हम सफर शामिल हो जाए हमारे साथ मंडे टू फ्राइडे फाइव फोर्टी फाइव आई एम सी टेन आई एम रेडियो फीजी टू देश की धड़कन आरोप